गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल स्कूल क्विज डॉट कॉम एज यू नो माई नेम इज दानिश अग्रवाल एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड अवर चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर वी हैव कवर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स इन चैप्टर नंबर टू इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस टू मेजर क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर टू मेजर क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वन इज वाई वाटर इज रिकॉर्डेड एज अ कंपाउंड एंड सेकेंड वन इज हाउ विल वी टेस्टिफाई दैट इज इट इज अ प्योर सबस्टांस How will we testify that it is a pure substance? So today we will discuss two important questions. So we will discuss it one by one. First of all, we will start our question. First of all, we will start that is give reasons to justify that water is a compound, not a mixture. Give reasons to justify that water is a compound, not a mixture. So that is chapter number two. Chapter number two is matter. Is matter around us pure? Is matter around us? pure is matter around us pure so today we will discuss two important questions first of all first question is first question is give reasons give reasons to justify give reasons to justify that water is a compound that water is a compound compound not a mixture that water is a compound not a mixture so we will so we will justify it that why water is considered as a compound so as we know water compounds which have a which have a uniform composition like which have a definite formula that is uh, like h2o they have a specific ratio by mass that is one ratio 8 by mass and its properties are entirely different entirely different from its constituent particles from its constituent particles so we will discuss five points one by one first of all that is water cannot be separated it first of all water water cannot be water cannot be separated water cannot be separated into its constituents water cannot be separated into its constituents hydrogen and oxygen water cannot be split into its constituent hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen and oxygen by simple physical methods by simple physical methods such as such as evaporation evaporation distillation sector evaporation distillation sector so second point is that is the composition of water is fixed the composition of water is fixed the composition of water is fixed it contains it contains hydrogen it contains hydrogen and oxygen it contains hydrogen and oxygen combined together combined together in a in a fixed proportion in a fixed proportion by mass by mass that is in which ratio they combine that is One ratio eight. One ratio eight. That is like H two O. Like two ratio sixteen. That is really one ratio eight. So it is that is one ratio eight. One ratio eight. And its and its chemical formula. Chemical formula is chemical formula is that is H two O. H two O. Now we will discuss its third point. third point is third point is that is water has properties entirely different water third point is water has properties properties entirely entirely different water has properties entirely different from those of its constituents from 
those of its constituents that is what are its constituents hydrogen and oxygen that is hydrogen and oxygen so as we know that is what like hydrogen is a combustible gas hydrogen is a combustible gas and oxygen is a spotter of spotter of combustion whereas water does not get fire at all does, does not catch fire at all at all at all so we can say that water has properties entirely different from those of its constituent that is hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen and oxygen so you if you want to write like, like you can write it as that is water does not catch its fire whereas hydrogen is a highly combustible gas and oxygen is also a supporter of combustion supporter of combustion now we will move to our fourth point fourth point is fourth point is heat and light are given out heat and light are given out heat and light are given out when water is formed when water is formed from its constituents from its constituents hydrogen hydrogen and hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen and oxygen and fifth one is water has fixed boiling point water has fixed water has fixed boiling point boiling point and melting point as we know that a compound has fixed boiling point and melting point that is boiling point of water boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius and and freezing freezing point of water of water is 0 degree celsius 0 degree celsius so water has fixed boiling point and melting point so these are the five major points which shows that water is a compound not a mixture not a mixture it is a very important question sometimes it comes in the like two or three marks two or three marks so just you have to write these five points first one is first one is that water's properties are entirely different from its constant particles second one is the composition is fixed third one is heat and light are heat and light are given out then fourth point is that is they have they have fixed boiling point and melting point and first one is that that water cannot be separated by its constituent particles water cannot be separated by its constituent particles so these are the five major points you have to write like just four just four points okay now now we will move to question number two question number two which will we discuss it's very very important question also that is second question we will discuss that is that is how to test for pure substance how to test a pure substance it's a very very important question from the paper point of view and also from the understanding point of view that how we will test that it is a pure substance it is a pure substance so as we have already discussed that uh, we have already written our first point that is water has fixed boiling point and melting point so with the help of that point we can test that it is a pure substance or not pure substance or not so we will write that is purity of a substance we will write its answer that is the the purity of a substance the purity of a substance can be tested by can be tested by checking can be tested by checking its checking its melting point checking its melting point or checking its melting point or boiling point can be tested by checking its melting point or or boiling point as we know as we know a pure substance a pure substance has as fixed 
stores of shanks has fixed melting point as well as as well as boiling point as well as boiling point if your substance has a fixed melting point as well as boiling point at at constant pressure at constant pressure at constant pressure the melting point and boiling point suppose like there is in an impurity so the melting point the melting point the melting point and and boiling point the melting point and boiling point of a substance of a substance will change of a substance will change if it's if it's if if it is if it contains it contains even a if it contains even a even a tiny amount of tiny amount of another substance if it contains a even a tiny amount of tiny amount of another substance for example as we know for example when you write any answer if uh, try to just give one example at least try to just give one example at least it shows that you have understanding of the answer that it you have understanding of the concept or your answer so it is a plus point like if you give example okay if you write if you like say any answer so and if you give one example at least that it will enhances your enhances your question quality question quality so for example for example that pure water has boiling point of pure water has pure water has boiling point of that is that is 100 degree celsius or 373 kelvin 3 373 kelvin at at normal atmospheric pressure at normal atmospheric pressure pressure that is 1 atm that is 1 atm but if it it contains any salt like its boiling point or freezing point changes so but water containing some salt but water containing but water containing some salt but water containing some salt will boil over a range of will boil over a over a range of 373 kelvin 373 kelvin so it is also a very important question and very important from the understanding point of view also that how will we testify a pure substance suppose we will check its melting point and boiling point as we know the melting point and boiling point of the pure substance is fixed like it contains any impurity its boiling point or melting point changes and we can say that like, like there is a presence of impurity there is a presence of impurity so with the help of that we can testify testify that is a pure that is a substance is pure or not if a substance is pure or no so this is all about for today's video in which we have discussed about two questions uh, two questions that is uh, like why water is a compound not a mixture and second one is second one is that is how to test a pure substance how to test a pure substance so this is all about today's topic so if you question if you guys any like any query in any question you can comment in the comment box section and we will also try to make video on that and remove your queries so like uh, as a science as a science like we are dealing with science so our all environment is made up of science like all are of, all about is of science like if you have any doubts in any question you can comment in the comment box section so this is all about for today's topic so thank you very much friends thank you very much